saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should be live. Are we live? I don't know. According to YouTube, we are. Okay. Are we live? Hey, we got sound and everything. We got, got oh sound and everything? Wow. Not yet. Okay. There we go. I'm sure something's coming up. Well, <laughs> you uh, got us all today. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah. We have stuff going on. We have a lot. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, since you haven't seen him in, in 3,000 years, you yeah, might not recognize uh, Truman Provincio sitting there with yes. us. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> and together, we are the Lowborn. Oh, thank God. Oh, guys, we got a band. Did you know that? I know. I know that. Did it's a little we joined, weird, isn't it? Did you know we joined a band? <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't even by accident this yeah. time. Right? It's almost on purpose. We actually... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like it was like yeah cool i'm in <laughs> see i had a i had a hard time you started off and saying uh and together where and all i wanted to do was say the three amigos <laughs> <laughs> god excuse me are you the singing bush <laughs> you're supposed to fire up <laughs> we both fired up oh my god oh my god i got i've got to admit <laughs> stupidest movie 10 out of 10 so good, so good. Um, I never used trick photography. <laughs> guy with a man's gun. By the way, as as we are putting everything up online right yeah. now, so we haven't actually started the show official yet. Sort of. Um, one of my favorite YouTube channels is one called uh, Cinema Sins. Yes. And oh, it's funny. They they sit there and, and basically he goes through and they've got a counter and he mm-hmm. sins everything wrong with with a movie. Mm-hmm. Um. But but it's funny. He, he, he's not not terribly he's not terribly um, aggressively down on movies for the most part. There was one he did here recently. Uh, he was pretty aggressive. Apparently, he's not a NASCAR fan. Oh, he did Talladega Nights. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, he's down, and it's pretty obvious he's down on it. You get point. It's like, oh, he hates NASCAR, so he's irritated by the whole premise of this thing. Mm. I was like, oh, that sucks because I think. I think that's the funniest Will Ferrell movie ever made. It's I, I love that movie. It's funny as hell. Okay, see, here's the thing. I am I like NASCAR. I'm a big NASCAR fan. <laughs> like back to the Richard Petty days. But I just when I saw that and I'm like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm oh, not. I'm not. It's like I'm too big. I was like, I was too much of a NASCAR fan to say I'm gonna watch this guy completely ruin it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love I love him praying to dear baby Jesus. You know, you know Jesus was an adult. You you pray to the Jesus you like. I like the baby Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. oh, the whole movie is just stupid oh, as hell, but man. but it's stupid in a fun way. It's not stupid in a, you know, we're gonna make fun of these yokel hillbillies. <laughs> okay. Now that they know we're here. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So, um, we, um, have a big night coming up, uh, this Saturday night. We yeah. will be at Picacho Peak Brewery from six to whenever they make a stop. Um, hopefully we're still on. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> this computer we're still on. on. Yeah. <laughs> so we're and what do we yeah. do? Well, <clears throat> we, you will hear us do some of our songs from our own set list but primarily you're going to hear us do a lot of music and we've been talking about this a lot that it's just basically irish music yeah that's what the best way to call it um we have it's been weird we've got we've had so much positive feedback since we've been doing it it's been a lot of fun i thought okay (laughs) i I didn't expect it (laughs) we i think he even expect he's the one that came up with the idea and Randy came up with the idea and we just kind of got to the point where, yeah, let's try it. And we did a night where everybody just loved it. Um, it's, you know, and I think it's because mainly my thing is that it's different. It's not something you hear anybody else do. True. Um, and we thought he, he thought we were going to do it once 
and that was it. <laughs> well, here's our third show. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it, it, I've been having fun with it. Um, the fact that he's come back tells me he's having fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like this, and this is something that's been on your mind for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, Randy's been talking about this for a while. I remember we were uh, at the open mic in Amaro, and he'd be like, bro, you know what'd be cool? You know what'd be cool? Yeah. If we, <laughs> nobody does Irish music around here. Yeah. What if we did, what if we did Irish music? Is that something you'd be interested in? Well, the first time I asked you was over here. Yeah. Um, and and it, it was you and me talking. I, I, I said something up to BG about it just in passing, but it was just a passing thing. But you came over and we were hanging out and just uh, just messing around and playing stuff and, and just having fun. And I happened to mention it to you. And you said, let's do that. And I was like, oh, shit. Now we have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful what you ask me to do because if it's music, we're, we're going to do it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we basically decided yeah let's let's try this and, and it took it took me a while to put stuff together and uh the original listing i pretty well put the music together for us mm -hmm. yeah and then uh you had some stuff that uh, that you were excited about because you knew it um bj started searching uh well he went he just fell down a I rabbit just, hole yeah <laughs> you put it on you know i put the songs that you gave me on uh spotify and then they just kept on playing other songs you know, going along that line, and I found a few that I'm like, oh, wait. And I sent, I remember the first one was, mm -hmm. I remember hearing, uh, I forgot, I think it was a, actually an advertisement where I heard the Wellerman, the lead. Uh -huh. So I was able to find out what it was, and I listened to the whole song, and I was like, and then you put whiskey this is coffee. cool. No, not yet. Not I don't yet. even drink coffee, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, it was like, Just okay, whiskey. we got to try that. And he was like, oh, my gosh, I like it. So cool. And then yeah. I think we've gotten a couple of songs that way. There's a few other songs that I found that there's no way the three of us can pull off by ourselves. Um, there's one. I found a Viking chant, which uh -huh. was cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is so cool. It's just, uh, yeah, so, some of these are, are multi-part. Yeah, it was um, like way. Trained old. voices harmonizing. I was yeah. like, yeah. There's a lot going on. You know. <laughs> There's one that is one verse, but every time they do the verse, like one guy does it by himself, and then a bass and a baritone join them, and then two tenors join them, and it's yeah. like, turns into, it's really cool. But I'm like, yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> There's one that I think we'd be able to do. You guys are like Truman take over the tenor part. I, like, I don't play saxophone. <laughs> you don't play saxophone. So finish the sentence. You don't play saxophone yet. Yeah, exactly. Everything for this, him is yet. This lunatic, you never know what he's gonna pick up next. What kind of musician do you think I am? Uh I don't know. A little bit of a nut. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take that. That's fair. That's fair. Border, borderline crack strung out. You'll you'll pick up anything and try playing it. <laughs> he doesn't. Say music's... He doesn't talk too much about the uh, the fiddle that he now has. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to. I haven't had a chance to pull it up at all lately. Yeah. Well, you've been busy. You've been all over the place, yeah. including out of town. Yes. By the way, you talked the same as when you left, so that's a good thing. Yeah, what, what what were you doing in Iowa? <laughs> Oh, I took my, uh, so my lovely lady, Alondra, uh -huh. uh -huh. she graduated from <laughs> one of the colleges over there. Oh. And so okay. some of her best friends from college were over there. And so we went over there to go say hi to all of them. Oh. It was pretty well. You know. I was thinking he entered WITSEC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is true with him? <laughs> Randy was like, What are you doing over there? Bro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I, I actually what I actually wrote you was uh, uh they'll ruin your they'll ruin your taste but your taste buds. Yeah. And you already talk funny anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I know? And then you were in Iowa you went before that? What where did you go before that? It was, it was Iowa and then somewhere else you went, right? We went to St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, that's the other one. Why? <laughs> Just Alondra on the way back, she goes, hey, have you ever been to St. Louis? Like, oh, I've never been anywhere over here. <laughs> this is all new to me. <laughs> they have pork tenderloins in every sandwich out there. I yeah, was, was that's a big thing. It's very confused. They got more steakhouses than, you had, than they do McDonald's. That tells you something. <laughs> 
every time I got direct, when I lived out there, every time I got directions from my father-in-law, it, it, the, the landmarks included a steakhouse, no matter where I went. <laughs> it, when you get to, when you get to this, a uh, Stierenstein, and then you get to, I was like, steak everywhere is a steakhouse. <laughs> that other steakhouse, you take yeah. the left to the other steakhouse. I was like, oh right. man, it was insane. Nice. <clears throat> and yeah, it was, it was cool. When St. Louis, we took a tour through the Budweiser Beer Factory. Oh, that's cool. The things, uh, same insane. buildings for 200 years, yeah. bro. Yeah. And you can tell because it's so cramped when you get into that area. I used to drive, when I drove a truck, I had to pick up there a few times. And it's like, you could tell that they, they didn't have big trucks in mind when they built this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to kind of, you got well, to no. kind of go a long way around to go get I, to the, you know. I thought, I thought they picked up their beer in, in horse drawn uh, stagecoaches. They mm -hmm. did, but the the forty five, the fifty three foot trailers weren't in mind. <laughs> oh, that's got to be really hard on on those horses. Yeah, it is. They didn't have <laughs> enough horses for that. One. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's why they use the, the the big Clydesdales. Yeah. yeah, but it was it was cool, man. Yeah. They showed us cool the thing. history about all of it. And yeah. Went on this big old long tour, and then at the end, they tap one of the giant barrels they got there. Yeah. And you get to try that nice and fresh, and it's, it's yeah, wild. right out of the barrel. That's <laughs> yeah. They also have another place uh, called Grant's Farm, and you can do all kinds of Budweiser. You can do, taste everything from Budweiser there. You can go over there and just try them all. I did find out that's not where Grant is buried. No. <laughs> <laughs> and on that property, they have the Clydesdale <laughs> stables. And you can go look at the Clydesdales. That would be cool, that actually. Right there. Big and horse, bro. Yeah. I've they, never you seen have, one of them. When you go up there and you stand like two oh, feet away from them, they're, and they're awesome. on the other of a gate, and they're just like, oh my God, they are massive. Yeah. Who's the big boy then? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. I just thought it was funny. You were in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I had to go to Iowa to visit our sister in law, my wife's sister. So that, you know, I had a. But visiting friends, okay, that that passes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you never know. Um, CWI on uh, later this month is going to be in Nebraska. Yeah. Um, his little um, duet group that, that he's playing, the, the, him and the, the guy on the, I don't know who the guy is. Yeah. Um, I'm not being rude. I just don't know who it is. Yeah, sorry. Um, uh, playing an upright bass, and oh, they've been they've been touring the two of them. That ought to be yeah. fun. So yeah, he's got one show in in New Mexico in one of the little towns, and then he's going to be in Colorado, then Nebraska. I'm like, wow. okay, okay, that's cool. CW definitely keeps the road hot, that's for sure. Oh. Yes, he does, and you never know who he's playing with. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then of course, uh, Picacho Peak Friday night. Um, yeah. Truman was out there again. Yeah. I didn't realize you were out there until after the fact. I was like, crap. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize I was out there until after the fact. So <laughs> that, that's normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, I have a gig tonight. I don't even know if I even got a chance to get it posted on Facebook. I think I, I never saw it. Al I Alondra it. made me a Instagram month. I try to do for all the gigs for the month. But we got back and I got everything set. And by the time I was like, oh, yeah, I have a gig this weekend, huh? And it was like Thursday. <laughs> so. Yeah. And I thought so, it was bad when people go, like, oh, yeah, I'm playing Friday. Where are you playing? Um, Wait. Uh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I think. <laughs> so much go, go, go. Yeah. See, I, even worse I, than usual. I saw you after the fact. It was on <laughs> Instagram. I don't remember whose account it was on. But, but uh, yeah, just, I, I still have a problem with Instagram. I'm I'm not really using it really well. <laughs> I, I I know I'm just like if I try to find something on there, I cannot find it. It's very difficult. Yeah. There's just, they have a little search thing, but apart from messages or mm -hmm. me posting my stuff, I usually don't put anything on Instagram. Yeah. Well, I have an I I make sure I put an event on Facebook basically because I need to remind myself. Uh, that works. <laughs> it's more for it's just. I mean, it's just as much for me as everybody else. <laughs> well, and, and we had problems this this time around with uh, with the lowboard event coming up yeah. this this weekend sure. because. Uh, and I figured out what it was. It's not. It's not entirely my fault. Uh, David at uh, at uh, Picacho Peak. Uh, every time that he's mentioned it, every time okay, when we've talked, um, and and he'll sit there. He says the twenty sixth. I didn't realize he was saying the twenty sixth. So it was getting in my head that it was a 26. So I I'm, I did say it to some people. Uh, thank God I got that taken care of early yeah. enough in time. It is it is the 19th. 19th. It's this Saturday. This Saturday. Um, our 
our uh, number one fan, Amelia, is yes. going to be out there with her family. She's, uh, yeah, she's reserving the front table. Um, yeah, I, I had told her the 26th, and she was apparently upset because she had uh, a family coming in, yeah. but they were going to leave just before the 26th. Uh, well, yeah. they're, they, I think today they come into oh, town. that's cool. So she's bringing them out there to hear us. That'll so, be great. Um, if you guys get a chance, come out to Picacho Peak. Yeah. Uh, it's, we'll be there six to nine at least. So um, we're the, fun. The way that Xavier goes, yeah. the, the owner, he's just like... Uh, you guys gonna play some more? You can play some more. <laughs> he's loving oh, um, yeah. what what we do together because now he's heard all three of us separate, and I think it kind of freaks people out when they hear what we do as an Irish band because yeah. it's still us. It's still obviously us. Yeah. But there's something that that clicks different. Yeah. Uh, with us together. I love the stuff the... none of us would do on our own. No. Oh yeah, for sure. Because no. I even thought about hey, I mean, I'll do some of this, you know, in my own uh, show, and then you I'm should. like, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> It doesn't quite feel right. So, See, I, you know. It's, and, and I've done a few. And, yeah. uh, well, it's, it's going to be more uh, more comfort zone for me anyway. Yeah. Uh, just because, you know, I grew up with that music. But, uh, yeah, I did uh, um, the, the Flogging Molly one. The, uh, oh, blah, 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 yeah. Blah. If I ever leave this world. Like. Yeah. And you know what? Because uh, when we do that, uh, Truman sings that. Um, I was having fun with it. But I realized as I was singing, I was like, hmm. I'm singing this more like Truman does than I am like uh, <laughs> Molly, <laughs> and he does it different. So uh, yeah. uh, it, it, it's one of the things when when you start playing with songs as a musician, you find that you're changing stuff a little bit. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep time, bro. I don't, I can't do <laughs> playing drums and singing. That's for sure. There's, some, there's, yeah. I think there's like three songs collectively that I can play <clears throat> yeah. and sing. At the same time, well, yeah, um, Floggy Molly's not one of them. <laughs> I definitely have to play guitar. But the nice thing is, yeah, I keep it doing percussion and keeping a beat on the sea shanties. It's pretty easy because yeah. we we don't we could complicate it. We don't. Yeah, we're basically keep it, keep it, it if we had a table in front of us, we'd be banging on yeah, the table. That's what easier. we're doing. <laughs> so, uh, it, you know, it, it, and I and I got uh, you know when I noticed the uh, the Wellerman was done by an, uh, Nathan Adams. Yes, and. He goes on stage and he just takes his guitar, turns it over. Yes. And all he does is he just does that. And you hear it, you know, because it's plugged in. And with this one, uh -huh. it doesn't work because of the back of it. But right. <clears throat> that's what he fiber. does. Mm -hmm. Right on stage, he'll play it. And that's all he does. And it's really cool. Um, yeah, <clears throat> so I, it's like, it, it, I don't know. It's some songs work that way. Our, our kind of running joke for the group is uh, we got three guitarists. Yeah. And it seems like uh, the most popular stuff that we do. Is the stuff that uh, we don't play guitar on exactly the acapella <laughs> stuff? It seems to be our most popular. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> so we, we, we try not to take it personally. <laughs> but, I'm, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Okay, I, don't know <laughs> I remember my first band I was playing, and it was a, at a bar that was also doing um, a Jägermeister night. So the Jägermeister girls were there. Ah. Disappointing. Um, they were disappointing, but it was I was playing. You didn't a song. have enough Jägermeister. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing, and it was a song that I had worked on, and I was getting ready, and I, I was playing it. And in the middle of the song, one of the girls comes up to me and hands me a CD and says, You can give that out to someone. And I'm like, I'm a little bit, I guess yeah. I just sucked that guy. <laughs> guess, you know, you, you're not playing worth a shit, so I'm gonna go ahead and put give put this in front of you and talk to you real quick. Yeah, I don't know what she thought she were gonna grab it with. You're not like, that talented. <laughs> oh, she put it on my uh, music oh, stand, okay. and I was like sitting there going, what? "Okay." And I turn around, and the bass player's even going, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> Did she just give us her CD. I remember and it was a it was a Jägermeister <laughs> compilation album of certain song. I don't know what it was, but still, I I just gave it to somebody else. And it was funny because when they left. I said, oh, the Jager Mike's girls leave. And a couple of people, yeah. And I went, anybody else as disappointed as I was? And that just, <laughs> they weren't all that cute. <laughs> well, they're uh, they're basically, <sighs> okay, if there's any Ye any Jaeger fans, I don't feel bad Sorry. about this. Yeah. Um, they're basically um, promoting the, uh, the lobotomy of yeah. all alcohols. Yeah. Uh, you'll never hear anybody say, um, yes, I was having tea and crumpets and a shot of Jaeger. It's always, um, yeah, we were doing we were doing Jaeger shots, and uh, then I needed to come up with bail money. Yeah, yeah. 
Usually, it's usually it's, associated with memory loss. <laughs> oh, easy, easy. It's journey. <clears throat> Although it's gonna be rowdy. we were out one night and <clears throat> we ended up in a big group of people, and one guy decided to buy Jaeger bombs for everybody. Oh God! And hell, my wife loves it. Tastes like night cool. My wife yes. loves it. I don't know why she loves Jaeger bombs. <laughs> Jaeger and Red Bull. She loves it. I, I was like, I looked at her like, what? She goes, that was really good. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> I don't know. That's, <clears throat> it, that's creepy to me. Um, I, I don't like the licorice taste. I, I like the licorice taste. I, I I have some stuff. We had some stuff over here that I oh. have. It's, it's got an anise in it. Um, I, oh. Yeah. Uh, now, we kind of we kind of messed with some people. Uh, Truman was one of them. That stuff um, was rough. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was just absent. Yeah. <laughs> At all. But oh. uh yeah, there's something about there's something about Jaeger that's just not right. Uh, yeah. Um that's for fret boys for the most part, just trying to get <laughs> since Bud Light is no longer for frat boys. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know <laughs> I had a, there was a bar I used to go to and I would order a Bud and they'd bring me a Bud Light and I'd get pissed. <laughs> I did not say that word. Ugh. <laughs> If, if I wanted to drink water with a, if I, I'd, I'd order a seltzer. Okay. <laughs> there. Well, it, I got used to drinking Budweiser when I lived in Missouri because it's the law. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I just it, after we moved out here and you start having the crap beers out here, yeah, it oh, kind of ruins it. I felt, I felt really. Uh, well, I had this image, and it's true in some places, and it was true for a while. Craft beers. It's very hipster, and it's very nose in the air. Oh well, uh, you know you know, what? this this beer's this, this beer's made with goat's milk and caramel seeds. Yeah. Uh, it's not that way anymore. No, and holy crap, some of the beers that, that I've been exposed to out here are just amazing. We've got yeah. some great uh, brewmeisters, and what some people realize is that the alcohol content is usually higher. Yeah, <laughs> I found that out by accident. <laughs> yeah. My my son uh, is all about the craft beers, and he came out, uh, brought him out to a couple places, and he went, yeah. uh, especially uh, NM Vintage, and he, somebody gave him. We went out with the to a friend's house, and he gave him a bottle that was a pecan beer, yeah. and so my son loved it. So when he came out here, yeah, I think he that's, asked that's for a one. Bosky one. Yeah, and he had got one at NM Vintage, and he we, we sat out there and we we're having a beer and a cigar, and he goes, man. This would be a good reason for me to move out here, <laughs> yeah. which he might be out here for a couple of months. He might take some time off to study for an That's exam, awesome. then he might come out. And I'm like, oh, dude, very cool, dude. Come That's on, cool, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah the... it was cool hanging out with the last time. Oh, uh, he's the same son, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a great kid. He's out in I, uh, Ohio right now. He's like, he's enjoying it, but he's ready for a. Although I gotta get him to quit saying I gotta get me a Latina, honey. Look at these ladies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's being truthful. <laughs> yeah, I have one. Yeah, you got one. <laughs> you can attest to that. Oh yeah, which we've threatened <laughs> your life. Yeah, we have yeah, threatened like, you. Don't screw don't, this up. Yeah, because because no uh, shit to do than screw this up. Right? <laughs> see, see, here's the problem. Most of the time, when you have a bunch of uh, a bunch of friends hanging out, and they, you know, somebody hooks up with somebody, you're just like, yeah, whatever. Dude, why? Why would you? <laughs> or or we're just, we don't really care that much. Yeah. But here's the thing. Alondra is our friend now too, yeah. so don't screw it yeah. up. Oh, but I got news for you. You screw it up. Too bad we're still hanging out with her. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hundred percent fair. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. You're gonna come over for practice, and she's already gonna be sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. She's gonna like that one. Yeah, I, I I fell in love with her as soon yeah. as you brought her around. I was like, oh man, this girl is just awesome. Especially since, and I know it, because we were, we were kind of laughing at y'all's reactions as um, we start going, we start talking Spanglish back and forth, <laughs> and I realized, oh crap, I think I may speak more Spanish than either of the two Latinos in the room. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, how much did I have the drink? <laughs> Bandy speaking. Oh, I really haven't around you before that, had I? Yeah, no. Yeah. I heard you you throw some stuff out. I was like, nice. Yeah. Oh, it, it used to be constant. So, I, I've yeah, every once in a while it slips out. But if I get around somebody like uh, Alondra is one of them. Um, Adrian Batista, when he was here, that was scary to be around the two of us. Yeah. Because, you know, he was, he was raised... Um, 
you know, kind of kind of ghetto style El Paso. I was raised kind of ghetto style Las Cruces, and it's similar but different. And we we Slightly sit there and just play off of each other, and people come up to us and they'd be like, "What? What's going on?" <laughs> Usually, they figure that I was making fun of him because I'm the white guy. <laughs> That's funny. like no. Uh, <clears throat> we um... well, we are a band. We we mentioned that right. Yeah. I think so. We're a band. Yeah. Um, we're about. 25 minutes into the show. Do you yeah. want to you want to play something? Play you know, song. Okay. <clears throat> we're you like a mind? we're like a band. <laughs> what do you got in mind? Play. I really like that song. I wrote something just like it, except different. <laughs> Be never mind. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, I didn't have to say the word and look at Truman. <laughs> I know he's seen that movie as many times as I have. <laughs> It's a good one. 10 out of 10 teaching show. Well, oh, yeah. Um, by the way, rest in peace, uh, uh, Paul Rubens. Yeah. One of his first movie roles oh, yeah. was yeah. Sweet Dreams. I think it was Sweet Dreams. Nice Dreams. Uh, nice Dreams. Nice oh, well, he, was, he was on the stage. He was a, 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 a comedian, a stand up yeah. comedian on stage. Yeah. He's, he, he, oh, people would be surprised. If they look back and they find out a lot of the movies he was in, and he was oh, yeah. a short character, you remember the character. Sometimes you don't realize it's him. He was he was brilliantly funny, oh, very funny. and uh, nicest guy in the world. Yeah, I, I actually saw one of the the, the, the latest, last videos that he ever put out uh, was to a fan. He sent him a uh, a birthday video, which birthdays were his big thing. Yeah, and this birthday video was just it was cute. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that fits him. He was, you know, this, this kid had been suffering. I think he was, he had been fighting cancer mm -hmm. and he's sitting there and, and, you know, was wishing him all the best. I wish you happiness. I wish you your friendship. He says, most of all, I wish you health. And I'm like, yeah. oh, wow. He knew at that point what was, ha what was coming yeah. too. But uh, yeah. Then the other, I remember when he got into that scandal about the, um, the adult theater that he got caught in. <laughs> yeah. Which I was, I, that I always rolled my eyes but at that. But the funny <laughs> thing is, is that the picture of him, even my um, my nephew, um, my nephew uh, in New York, my cousin in New York, he was a big fan of his. Mm -hmm. And when he heard on the TV, they tried it, and he, she looked at him. He goes, she goes, he goes, that doesn't look like him. Yeah. Well, it looks like and, Paul. It doesn't look like Pee Wee. Yeah, and he knew him as Pee Wee. So, but then it was great because in the MTV Awards, after that, he comes out and he comes out as Pee Wee. And the first <laughs> thing he says is, "Heard any good jokes lately?" Uh -huh. Oh <laughs> so yeah. He just like it was. He handled it beautifully, and then it blew over quick. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a nothing burger story anyway. It was just, you know. Um, I'm sorry. If if you'd been caught doing that in a church. Okay, okay that's different. That's a, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's but, sort of like, you know, get, go, going to a dairy and getting caught drinking <clears throat> milk. Yeah, I was like, come on. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, rest in peace. You made us laugh, and we appreciate it. Yeah, for a sure. A lot of laughs. And he and he kicks up some he kick started some amazing careers. Yeah. I don't know. What do we have that we have what are we gonna play? What are we gonna play? Considering Saturday we night? haven't played together in oh a while, so yeah. this will be fun. I don't know. What, what do you feel we, comfortable playing? I feel comfortable playing anything because I have no shame. If I fall <laughs> on my ass, I'll just blame it on you guys. <laughs> oh <laughs> made a career falling on my ass. So I Black Velvet Band was one of my is one of my favorites. That was one of the ones I played. I don't have my one. Oh yeah, I do. I'm gonna go. Yeah. There we go. I could have switched chairs with you. <laughs> I'll switch you Start chairs, it. bro. Her eyes and shone like diamonds I thought her the queen of the land And her hair hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band In a neat little town they called Dauphin A princess to trade I was bound And many the hour sweet happiness I spent in that Little town. Till sadness, fortune came over me, which caused me to stray from the land. Far away from my friends and relations, betrayed by the black velvet band. Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. 
Let butter the queen of land And her hair hung over her shoulder Tied up with a black velvet band A tooth of strolled and Broadway Meaning I'd long to stay When who should I meet but this pretty fair maiden Tracing along the highway she was both fair and handsome, her neck it was just like a swan, and her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. Her eyes that shone like diamonds, like daughter of the queen of the land, and her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. I took a stroll with this pretty fair maid And a gentleman passing us by I knew she meant the doing of him By the look in her roguish black eye I told what she took from his pocket And placed it right into my hand And the very next thing that I knew Was I landed in Vandemans eye her eyes that shone like diamonds, I thought her the queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. For church and jury, next morning I had to appear. The judge said to me, young man, your case is We'll give you seven years being of servitude to be spent far away from the land, far away from your friends and relations, betrayed by the black velvet eyes. Her eyes are shown like diamonds, I thought her the queen of the land, and her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. Her eyes, they shone like diamonds, I thought her the queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. Tied up with a black velvet band. Tied up with a black velvet band. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I thought it should end. <laughs> <laughs> It's early. Yeah, thank you so much for picking the one that I that I sing. That's the, the highest I one. That I sing. <laughs> hey, at least I can hit it. I was like halfway through the through the accompanying chorus. I went, "Ooh, that wasn't nice." <laughs> that's the one that when we started doing. I was like, "Okay, we can do this." But here's the thing: we need to split it up because you guys need to sing with me to give my voice some some uh, rest. And then we did it uh, at our second show. Yeah. And you said, uh, "says Yeah, Randy's going to sing this." I was like. Oh. <laughs> He's going to sing the whole thing, and I didn't have any trouble. Yeah, I've been I've been playing and singing so much that I've actually been pushing my range. Yeah, because so. you got to. The only way to build up your vocal strength is to sing consistently. Yeah. You don't use uh, it, you lose it. My wife is actually <laughs> finding that she she started singing at her, at her in her office, uh, you know, during the day, and she's like, started about a couple of weeks ago. She said she started a couple of weeks ago, and at first she couldn't hit a note. Yeah, and now all of a sudden she was like, oh, "Okay, this is getting better because her voice is coming back." Mm -hmm. So, I've, mm -hmm. I, 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 my new sound system, the way I have it set up, I told her, I said, "By the way, there's another input on my mixer for a microphone because I bought a small one to kind of get just for me to do three gigs, but yeah. I can still add a second microphone." Mm -hmm. So I looked at her and I said, "Just saying." <laughs> 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 so we're gonna see what happens. Yeah. I, I'll start by bringing her out to an open mic. We'll do it that way. We'll start that way. Because she's yeah. like, I don't want to, you know, take, you know, jump into your gig. I'm like, it's my gig. I can do what I want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I could oh, say yeah. some stuff, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, yeah. I was about to say something. I was like, oh, that's really a little too mean for on the air. Um, believe it or not, people. Yeah. I actually do censor myself and filter myself. Um, this is a good you have boy. no idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Um, well, yeah, we started the show with a joke that I probably, oh, probably wouldn't have told on the air, but who knows? Good thing we were off the air. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Who knows? Um, Bad Randy. Hey, when 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 we were doing the show uh, uh, before on, on on the old Radio New Mexico thing, uh, we had in. Um, uh, people from uh, from the dog uh, rescue oh, place yeah. regularly, and the guy that would come in and bring the dogs, he told me one time, says, "Oh, I love being on the show." He didn't didn't do much. He didn't say much. Yeah. He was basically there to wrangle the dogs more than anything. And then he hung out the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, and he told me, he says, "You know, I love the show. My favorite part is waiting to see what you're going to say that's wrong, <laughs> because he knew it was going to be something every show." <laughs> it's like, oh, what can I say? That's funny. I was I I was raised in a barn, so <laughs> that's. So yeah, so um, yeah. What do we got going on? Yeah, by the what do we way? got going on? We got because we got a bunch on. of stuff going on. Um, of course, we're playing on Saturday. Uh, I will be playing Friday night yes. at Little Toad Creek from eight to eleven. <clears throat> so I'll basically get out of there. I'm gonna go home, go straight to bed, and try and get some rest so yeah. I'm not completely shot come uh, <clears throat> come Saturday. Ah, uh, you got a whole day to recover. Because we have way too much fun playing as a oh, lowborn, man. and if it's any sort of a, uh, <laughs> if it's any sort of of a of a redo of of, of last last time yeah. that we played, yeah, um, I need my energy up a little bit yeah, because um, be we know we're gonna have shots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> holy crap, we have people buying us shots. That like was, and and to me, that was one of the best compliments. It's one of the best compliments when you know somebody says, you know, hey, let me buy you a, a shot or let me buy you a beer. I remember being at a couple places where they said, look, I I didn't bring any cash to tip you, but can I buy you a beer? I'm like, you know what? That's actually like, yeah. For for between guys, that's one of the highest gestures you can make. Is hey, I'm buy you a beer. You know? And we had, I think we had one shot of whiskey, and everything else was shots of rum yeah. the rest of the night. Oh, that's that dangerous. Really good rum. Yeah, that was so good. It, yes. If, if there's no, if there's nothing else that appeals to you to come out to Picacho <clears> Peak, <throat> yeah. uh, they are now carrying Boogie's rum, oh. which is out of Deming. Yes. Oh, locally distilled my God. and. Wonderful. By the way, I have in my in my fridge right now yeah. a bottle of, of their coconut rum. No way. Yeah, I found I found one place in town that's selling it. Where? Uh, two cans. Two cans. Okay. Two cans. I get buzzed off half a drink. So yeah. it's a well, the thing is, you know what? Now I'm Puerto Rican, so rum is is you know it's law. So. Now, <laughs> now it's one law. Now here's the thing: you want to talk about how good this is because yeah, yeah. Truman is careful with the way he drinks because. Yeah, there's no there's no uh, secret here. You are a lightweight when you drink. Yeah, you know you are. I think um, it's one of the things the laundry likes about you. <laughs> and, uh, after the shot of whiskey, <laughs> after the shot yeah. of whiskey, you had a shot of the of the coconut rum, mm -hmm. so you, you knew what it tasted like. And I think you I think you had in your head there that the, the, the these these girls were going to buy a shots of whiskey, and you leaned over to me and says, "I'm going to hand mine to you and have you drink it because because <laughs> I just can't drink this much." And uh, then you found out it was the coconut rum, and you're like, <laughs> and oh, like, and you downed it. Bets are off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like coconut. You know what? And you're I like don't sweet either. is what you like. I was, don't like yeah. coconut. <laughs> My father loved it. I did not like it. So, yeah. But this, the coconut is just enough yeah. to add something it, to the rum. And it doesn't taste I syrupy. I loved it. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. It's sweet, but not syrupy. Yeah, it's it was terrifyingly great. smooth. Yeah, yes. so smooth. It was dangerous because <laughs> you'll just yeah. go, oh, give me another. And then you're too late. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they try not to fall off the cajon. They're like, that's just normal <laughs> trimming. And then, he, and then, he, and then uh, Dave, Dave, PJ, why don't you try this? Lemon drop. Okay. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Don't, don't, don't drink it like lemonade no even though because it kind of tastes like lemonade you it's, don't really and, and your body just immediately wants to just down oh, it, yeah. chug it because yeah like like you could with a really perfectly you mixed mix lemonade perfectly. so it's just the right amount of, of, of tart and, yeah. and sweet and you just you just want to down it but you forget there's also alcohol in there he's got but he mixes it so well because yeah. you can't you know you're like oh there, was there alcohol in there and then a few minutes later like oh yeah there was uh -huh. <laughs> i mean the mistake we're talking about how the Craft beers have more <clears throat> alcohol yes. content and everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, I made the mistake of getting me a one of their seltzers when they have them. Oh uh, yeah, I got a seltzer <coughs> right before my last set, and those are deceptive. And I was like, oh yeah, just one drink for the last set. It's the last <laughs> set. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Alonjo was actually there for that one. And I was like, does it sound all right? Is it just in my head or am I actually sounding all right? And she goes, no, you're doing pretty good. She, she, she's like, dude, she you, haven't have to, she, she, you haven't even started yet. Yeah. She's like, you haven't, you, haven't, uh, you haven't managed to hit the strings for the last 30 minutes. What's, what's going on? That was, that was a pretty, I think that's one of the best solos I've ever done. You stopped the song and stared at your guitar for three minutes. And I was like... You took a you took a nap. Everybody just kind of didn't want to wake you up. They were scared. <laughs> like, did he actually default on you? <laughs> oh my god! He reset a poor kid's clock, man. Jeez. <laughs> By the way, this is what you'll see if you come yeah, out and hear us play. Just as uh, much of this. As we don't we don't change. No. Um, yes. We have a certain amount of professionalism that, that we do when we're performing. Yeah. There, but uh, but we're also we're just up there having right fun. Yeah. Uh, we're not, you know, we have no problem with screwing around and screwing around with the audience, which yeah. we've had some fun people come oh, out. Oh my gosh. We've had, we've met some great people and uh, nice you know, people. Yeah. It's been a lot of that. I'm looking forward to that just as much as playing. Yeah. You know, the people that we get to meet and that, you know, become, become fans of ours and, uh, and, and it's it's weird because yeah, fan is the right word for for some of these people. We can actually say that because yeah. they come out to hear us, mm -hmm. and that is really really cool. Absolutely. Telling you, book more of these gigs. Let's do it. <laughs> We're working. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, <laughs> and charge. <laughs> I remember, I remember uh, you talking to Jan, right? <laughs> uh, Jan about oh, who was a oh, it freaked her out. Oh, uh, she's like, I know DJ, I know Truman, I. I'm we've been yeah we've been talking she's like i can't i can't put it together no <laughs> i don't think anybody can not... <laughs> and, and i think if it was any kind of music people yeah. would have the same reaction like i just can't see the three of you together yeah. and then you throw in the irish thing and they're like what, what? <laughs> like, that's not how this i did that i said something uh to you know when i, I mentioned it to certain people at when i'm at work and they'll say i a what an irish trio yeah yeah i'm playing with my irish trio this week a what? <laughs> I was talking with my, I was telling my dad about it, and he goes, I, Irish music? <laughs> you guys aren't trying to have a whole lot of gigs, huh? <laughs> and I go, I wouldn't have thought so if you asked me two months ago. Yeah. No. But after. Uh, well, we thought that, we really thought this was going to be a one and done. Yeah. yeah Once after, a year kind of thing. After the gigs, I was, I was telling dad the other day, I was like, when everyone was sitting there. Yeah, singing with us, yes. banging on the table, and even dancing and stuff. I was like, I don't know what we're doing, but it's something right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. Whatever we're doing, and we're doing it right. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I've I've DJed um, a lot of of Irish type parties in the past, so I know the community that's out here. It's just not one that you see, but they're there, and uh, they're not all genetically Irish. Uh, there, it's, and and we, we're finding this out more and more too as we play. It's like there are people coming out that there are people coming out that don't know the songs and they end up singing by the end of it because they're fairly easy yeah. to pick up. Yeah. Uh, but there's other people that are coming out and they know them from the get go. Yeah. And you're like, where where did you come from? It's Ratlin Bug. <laughs> oh God, yes. People lose their stuff for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun. Oh man! So what do we got? So yeah, um, yeah. Friday I'm playing out at uh, Little Toad Creek. Little Toad Creek. Sunday I'll be at TRC. Cool. Uh, two two to five. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Cool. Cool. I wonder if it's up online. Probably not. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the. Uh, uh, yeah. It's Wednesday. My you secretary heard? brain doesn't click in until Thursday. You heard it here first. Probably the only time you'll hear it. <laughs> I, I think I think Truman may have heard it here first. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> that had, that was the best when we were sitting here oh, one God. time and he goes, and Truman will be at it. He goes, I am. <laughs> I am? Oh yeah. Where well, am the, I playing? And well, for what time? Oh, yeah, you followed up with what what time? <laughs> what time? Uh, like, <laughs> and for a minute I was like, I, I thought you were joking. I was like, wait a minute, he's not joking. No, <laughs> <what is it? laughs> It's like, oh crap! Maybe I'm just the, kidding, but seriously, <laughs> maybe I need a screen capture and email it to him after the show. <laughs> just send me the link. I'll rewatch the show. Don't worry. Uh, this Friday at six, out at Lacombe, uh, Chris Baker is going to be playing. Uh, yeah, Museum of Natural History. Uh, uh, Museum of Nature History is going to be doing a bug fest. I will be nowhere near that. No, screw that. I know somebody that might be though. Um, Pecan Grill and Brewery this Saturday at seven. They're getting. 
They're getting a band, yeah. a, a, a yeah. name band coming oh, out. Wow. Eli James is going to be coming and playing. Oh, out. Eli James is awesome. They're dude. awesome, yeah. I haven't. They yeah. haven't been here in forever either. Yeah. They play at the game pretty often. Really? Yeah, the game too. It's I one of even. the first bands I took Alondra out to go see. I won't even. Uh, I won't even say anything about the game. I, I don't want to be bad. Um, uh, Chris Baker is also playing Rio Grande Winery this Saturday at 7. Uh, TRC Brewing uh, tomorrow at 7 is their karaoke. Mm. They do karaoke Thursdays. Um, if you don't want to do karaoke, I got open Wait. mic going on on Thursday at Picacho Peak. Yeah, that's right. Where was the karaoke at again? Uh, TRC Brewing. Oh, TRC Brewing. They're trying okay. to do some some different stuff yeah. going on. Um, okay. Of course, the last Wednesday of the month, don't ever forget, uh, Ali Shea is running uh, yes. uh, her open mic out there. And uh, it's oh. a cool open mic. And she's one of the best people in town. She is such a sweet. I, I, I love her to death. I had a thing with, okay, this got me in trouble. I had a thing <laughs> with my kids and their friends. I call them all baby girl. Because to me, you know, that they're kids. And I just, you know, well, I walked up to her. I said, baby girl, you're doing great. And my wife looks at me and goes, excuse me, baby girl. I said, don't you remember? I used to, st I, I just, because I used to call all the kids that. Mm -hmm. And let's face it. She's, I got daughters older than her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Both of my daughters are older than her. So I said, that's what it is. She's like, mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, I was talking to her on the phone here a couple of weeks ago. And at one point, uh, she made a comment to me. I, I said something. She says, ah, oh, you are always making these remarks like I'm so much younger than you. Right. And I says, honey, you, you are. are. Yeah. <laughs> and she says, how old are you? And I told her, she says, you look great. I was like, I'm going to take that as just what you said yes. and not what you implied at the end. <laughs> you look great for that yeah, age. Yeah, for that age. <laughs> so, you yeah, know. Uh, uh, Rio Grande Winery, Thursday at 6 p.m. <clears throat> DJ Mike Armstead is, co is coming mm. out. I don't know who that is. Not a clue. Not a clue. Um, of course, board game night going on tonight at 6 at Bosky Brewing. Um, ooh, Rio Grande... Oh, it's a it's a documentary. Rear Grand the Theater this Saturday at one. They're going to do a, a documentary film screening. Origami in the Garden. Interesting. Origami is weird. Yeah, I'm, I, I used to do a lot of origami in high school. Uh, you don't want to see my origami. I can I can fold a square. <laughs> I like your style. Yeah, uh, Damian Luna is going to be playing this Saturday at six at uh, at uh, Icebox's uh, Boneyard Cantina. Yay! So he's going to miss us. Me, nah, that's okay. Um, Picacho Peak Brewing this this Friday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm like, huh? Uh, th uh, this Friday, one mic, one night with Tommy Black. I don't know what it is, so let me see. Um, oh, oh, this is one of their comedy things. So Tommy Black, uh, Robert Gibson, Otis Hicks, and Sharita are going to be out. Uh, doors open at seven for this one. Uh, VIP reserve seating, thirty-five dollars uh, admission. General admission is twenty-five dollars. So uh, this okay. is this is one of those things. Oh, oh, Tommy Black, DJ Black. I know who he is. Uh, I I have some history with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and one day I'll tell the stories. <clears throat> Apparently, it's not one we can talk about. Oh, it is, but. Uh, yeah, somebody wouldn't be too happy. Pause, pause the camera. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go off the air for about 10 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, we're hey, we're back, by the way. And and that's why I'm not allowed out there anymore. Um, <laughs> that's why I can't have nice things. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else we got going on? Um, hey, Amaro Winery has something that says Amaro Winery. That's cool. <laughs> um, live music. Oh, this is kind of cool. Um, Friday at 7 at Amaro Winery, the Rio Grande Revelers, uh, traditional New Orleans jazz. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, if, if you're tired of listening to music, you can go listen to jazz. <laughs> so. <laughs> I remember when alternative music came out, I called it the alternative to music. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> uh, C.M. Adams is going to C.M. Adams, Adams is going to be playing at, uh, at Lacombe this Saturday at 6. Got to be real careful because we have C.M. Adams and we have C.L. Adams. Totally different people. Oh, okay. Um, but C.L. Adams is also Chris Adams, is also uh, Rockabilly Strangers. So, you I know, you got to... We'll just call him Sybil. 
Yeah. <laughs> That'd be about <laughs> accurate. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Pizza Bones playing a game two uh, this Saturday at seven. I still am not sure about that name. <laughs> um, Daniel Sanchez is playing at the game this Friday at seven. Oh, wow. By the way, that's what I was pulling earlier with you when I sat there and I was pulling a Daniel Sanchez. He did that with me at one point because I was learning how to play guitar and I wasn't playing anywhere. And he says, says, yeah, when it, it says, uh, says, you're going to have to play somewhere soon. And he turned and stared in my face and he wouldn't stop staring at me for like, the. I was like, dude, I get it. I get it. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it takes time. This don't just happen. <laughs> So Icebox, Brewer, uh, uh, the, the Picacho Brewery for Icebox, tomorrow at 7, they're doing a trivia night with the Cruces Trivia God. I wonder if it says... Nope. They don't, they don't have a theme listed for this one. But, uh, yeah, he'll be doing that. Um, there's going to be a car show at Young Park this Saturday uh, from 11, 11 a.m. Uh. To, to noon. Um, this is put on by Ballet Folklorico Corazon de las Cruces. Uh, Say that three times fast. Hey, Do that again. Be careful, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Ballet Folklorico Corazon de las Cruces. Okay. Orale. <laughs> 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 um, now you guys try. <laughs> no. That's that's mean of me, isn't it? I'm just I'm just cruel today. I just um, spent the week in Iowa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Duolingo with my Spanish. You lost track. some of the Spanish. Yeah. You, bought, you lost what little Spanish you did have. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I had a friend that actually um, uh, was telling me, he says, yeah, I'm going to look at doing Duolingo, but I'm not sure which language I want to learn. And I was like, you know what Duolingo has on their on their listing of languages? What? She hates Star Trek. Uh, Klingon. Yeah, they God. have Klingon on there. And she's like, shut up. I was like, no, really? She's like, I don't want to know that. <laughs> I was like, dude, it's a it's a real language. <laughs> yeah, did you know the that story? Have you heard that story of this guy went to a convention and his future wife that he met there, she came from Korea to the same convention. Mm. She didn't speak any English and he didn't, he speak, didn't Korea. speak Korean, but they both spoke Klingon. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they so oh they fell gosh. in love speaking Klingon <laughs> to each other. <laughs> Yeah, I I have no idea how to feel about that. <laughs> well, understand they put this amazing guy Michael Okuda in charge of the Klingon stuff because they wanted it to be consistent sounding. Yeah, uh, through the TV shows and the movies and everything. So, and he's a linguist, so he Do didn't just say rules. he didn't just say okay, yeah. we're just going to make stuff and make sure it all sounds yeah. the same. No, he created basic grammar, uh, basic rules, and and built this whole language up. Oh um, I have somewhere a book. It is the, it is the translated uh, complete Hamlet in Klingon. In Klingon. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Klingon Language Institute, last I heard, they are still working on translating the entirety of the Bible. They have finished Psalms. I've seen Psalms. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, back Ballet Folklorico, uh, they're doing their thing at Young Park this weekend. So uh, the, the car show is going to be going on, and they'll be up on the main stage, uh, 1115 to 1145, doing their thing. Mm. So if you've never seen a Ballet Folklorico, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, it's it's a very, very cool thing. Uh, I'd like to check that out. Yeah. And I think this is one of the younger uh, groups of younger kids. And, uh, well, not, not the little kids, but like the intermediate age. Uh, so it's kind of cool to see them out there doing that because they put a ton of work into it That's and, cool. and the costumes are awesome and just, just everything's cool. Um, uh, Christopher S. Garcega is going to be playing, uh, this Friday at the game two, starting at seven. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people playing at the same time I yeah. am. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many choices. There really are. This town is insane. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm working. <laughs> um, Austin Van is going to be back at Blue Moon uh, Bar this Saturday at 7 p.m. Cool. Um, he's been all over this area, yeah. um, touring like crazy. Uh, I the first time I saw this kid, actually, he was actually walking in behind uh, me and a friend uh, yeah. at the uh, at the the Country Fest, mm. the last one that we did out here. And uh, I was like, "Who's this kid? He's he's he looks like he's wearing his daddy's clothes." Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I was like. Yeah, I don't know how country he is. And then we sit down for one of the bands on the backstages, and it's Austin Van. Oh. And this kid gets up there, and I mean, he 
he looked a little silly with the, the with the, 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 the clothes he was wearing. He was wearing traditional country clothes, and he was kind of had the, the hippified look, and it was just a little bit weird the way it fit together. <laughs> and then he started singing. I was like, holy crap, this kid is good and this kid is country and and he was by far by decades the youngest person in his band oh, wow um yeah his uh, uh gray hair like crazy um female uh, bass player that was just i mean she had uh amy lou harris hair down to about here oh, and she rocked that bass uh, had a guy sitting there wearing a little sweater wearing a little duffer hat uh, playing uh um uh, uh, uh lap bass Oh, uh, uh, sorry, lap steel. steel. Lap steel. Oh. And he's just, and he never looks up. I mean, you can tell the good players, they never look up. They're doing their thing. And he's just all over this thing. Amazing band. So if you get a chance to hear Austin Van, they're, they're definitely worth it. So <laughs> I know they're, they're going to be playing the same time I am. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, they're really great. You can go hear them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm bad for myself. <laughs> After you come hear us. But uh, yeah, so that's going on. Uh, John Matthew at the Blue Moon Bar this Sunday at four, but you know at four you're going to be out at TRC Brewing listening to Truman, right? Right, right. Nice. Oh God, this Friday at six forty-five, Telstra Twelve movies. is doing their Movies We Love series. Mm -hmm. Bring it on! God, that's a great movie. <laughs> I grew up watching the shit I, out of that. I me. love that movie. I'm <laughs> drawing a blank. Cheerleading movie. Oh yeah, it was so good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring it. Well, it's already been brought. In. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we have uh, Vado Speedway Park this Saturday at seven thirty. You're doing their racing series. Um, that is some wild. That's awesome stuff. We have man. a Speedway Park. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Vado, you can't miss it. Mm -hmm. It's it's awesome. But it is so it's such a great great time out there, man. And you're gonna have to go check it. Oh out. yeah. Because on the way to uh, Iowa, we saw the. Out by Thule. There was one out by Thule I remember going to. Yeah. And I was like, I have you ever been to one of those? And, and Landra was telling me she hasn't. I was like, I gotta oh. take you to one. Because that's an experience. It is. It's fun. Um <clears throat> take take some earplugs just in case for her. You know that. Wow. Because you don't know how she's gonna react to it. Yeah. Um loud. yeah, I'll, always always take ear protection, especially your first time out, because you don't know if it's gonna be too much or not. It's a lot of noise. Yeah. And apparently they're gonna be doing Jackson compaction uh, winged sprint cars. Um Hacienda Carpet and Tile is a sponsoring X mods. Uh Johnson oh. Supply Super Trucks are gonna be out there. Uh Halsey Ra Racing Legends and SNH Automotive Pure Stocks mm. will be will be taking the track. So everybody's gonna be going. It's gonna be an all night thing. I'm sure it's really cool. It is. I'm glad I'm not a server anymore. I used to <laughs> hate when they would come in after the middle of the night. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. On Saturday. I'm sure they put on a cool <coughs> show. But a lot yeah. Of them. yeah. Um, yes. By the way, if you happen to be at the Sun Bowl and have tickets, you better have tickets already. Uh, this Friday at 545, <laughs> Motley Crew. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. I did not either. Oh, my gosh. I was mentioning to to, to BJ that we needed to, to let you know that uh, um, Dropkick Murphys are going to be in, in Albuquerque in uh, October. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to have to all go. <laughs> no. Just on principle. That would, wouldn't that just be fun? Um, oh God, isn't that great? We could go out there and say, Hey, sorry, it's research for the band. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not going to have fun. Yeah, we're researching. It's, yeah. it's work. That's the cool thing about being a musician. Whenever I have time off, I get to go see other musicians and I'm, I'm doing networking, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's research. Yep. Oh yeah, we uh, we've been talking about doing some networking because I found out we've got a bunch of bars here in town I didn't know existed. Yeah. So uh, it may be time to make a make a, a trip around to some places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah. Uh, Rockabilly Strangers Duo will be out at Sparky's this Sunday at noon. Nice. I will be recovering Sunday at noon. <laughs> <laughs> I have never played uh, back to back nights before, so. Mm -hmm. And technically, I'm running uh, open mic one night, playing a night, and then playing with you guys another night. So hey, we'll, we'll see how that works. Yeah. I, I may be a little shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no. I know what this is. And I am pissed because I just heard about this the other day. I didn't. Uh, Motley Crue didn't stick in my head. It's going to be Motley Crue playing out there at Sun Bowl Stadium. Mm -hmm. Def Leppard. And it's the headliner. Yeah. Alice Cooper. I know. 
Ugh. Alice and is awesome. That's returning awesome. to play guitar for Alice Cooper yeah. is Mita Strauss. Yeah, she's been back for a bit now. Yeah, she came back. Sounds she like did her thing. A, came back. Oh. Sounds like we got another research. Trip. <laughs> oh, I know. I would love to go to that. I've That'd seen, awesome. I've seen Alice, and not only have I seen, have I seen him live, I've seen him up close. Yeah, because we had VIP tickets for the last uh, uh, Street Fest they did. His show is. Oh cool. man! And by the way, it doesn't matter how old he gets; he never slows down. No, he sounds great. Yeah, I just heard another. Uh, uh, he dropped a single. He's our mm -hmm. most like, hit on the radio at night. Yes, yeah. I love listening to him. Oh, he's so off when he. <laughs> When he's doing his stuff and, and you're getting to see oh, the real him, it's like, this guy is weirder than I thought. Yeah. I love about him. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, free concert at Speaking Rock coming up on Saturday at 7.30. Um, of course, we'll be busy, but the Iron Maidens. Ooh. I don't know who they are. Oh, man. But they sound and look. I know yeah. how they look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was never a real Iron Maiden fan, but. That sounds cool. I love that. They're a, they're an all female Iron Maiden tribute band. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That sounds cool. Cover Maiden material from all eras. Ooh. I'm gonna have to look into who they are because mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. Yeah. When you have somebody that's doing music outside of their gender like that, there's something kind of neat about that. You heard um, Bruce Dickinson sing. <laughs> I mean, not like I do any female songs. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I've added a ton because, yeah. <laughs> hey, there was a whole time that the, the coolest people right doing stuff were, were women. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so that looks like about everything going on. That's a cool. bunch. Yeah. We're, 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 staying, we're staying busy out here with music. Yeah, that's great. It's, everything's back. I think it's back to normal now. I was, I was reading a while. posting in uh, uh, Los uh, the Las Cruces community uncensored page uh, uh, on Facebook and somebody had just moved here and she's like, you know, what, what's there to do around here? And people were saying, there's nothing. Uh, I was like, Oh, no, not, not quite. False. The, no. the, the problem is we don't, as a city, we don't really promote what's going on out here, a but there's a ton. There was a post on Facebook one time on the community watch and somebody said, is there any live music going on Saturday? And like me and eight other guys went, yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh it's yeah. 10 different things. <laughs> yeah. Among, among other things, it's always, you know, self-promotion time yeah, all of a sudden. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, well, yeah, we, we've got a ton of stuff going on out yeah. here. Um, this is not a dead area. Like, no. uh, like, well, like even when it used to feel that way, it really wasn't. Mm -hmm. But uh, there was a time that all the music was so underground, you never knew. Yeah, now it's um, uh, like I said, and I always uh, say, people, music should never be like roll that. down your window, drive around when you hear something you like, stop. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's how I found like a couple yeah. of places. I'll be driving home, and I was like, that's music, where is it at? Just go cruising and yeah. follow the sound, and then you go. I didn't even know they had music here. Yeah. Go yeah. Find a new place. Oh, yeah. Best compliment I got was when I was playing at Don Felix, and there was a couple headed into the bar that's across the street. And apparently they the, the husband said, Hey, what about over there? And the wife goes, Yeah, let's go over there. Mm -hmm. And they they like they look they remember that they had beers there because they just wanted to go have a beer. So they sat and listened to me. Yeah. And I thought that was the biggest compliment, you know. That's cool, man. Oh yeah. Um there's actually a, uh, a restaurant here in town that has a nice little patio that I've been trying to sweet talk them. <laughs> mm. They don't do music. They've never done music. But I'm like, wouldn't it be great to have some music out here? Yeah. Because it's like, I noticed that most people now are coming in, getting food and taking it home. Yeah. You're not getting people hanging out, which means you're not getting the extra drink sales. Yeah. Uh, and so, if you have you know, a band, it yeah. forces people to engage a little bit more. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. And if you go see Truman, uh, he uh, every thirty minutes he buys somebody a beer. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's sitting there thinking, "God, he's, Randy's about to cost like, me money." I, like I do. <laughs> no. I don't have any money <laughs> to begin with. We're musicians. We don't have any money. Yeah. <laughs> However, um, I'm having some issues getting it all up online, but we are very shortly going to have, and I'll, I'll have everything online. Um, I've, I've ordered the, the, the first stuff and it should be coming in any time now. It's been slow. But the Lowborn is about to have an online merchandise store. How weird is that? <laughs> cool. We have so, and you know what's, uh, what, yeah. what's funny is the first time when you first said that, I'm like, you know what? And we do have a fan base that would probably go for that. 
Well, that's the reason I did it is because people were talking about stuff. Yeah. And I was like, they were like, yeah, we need like t-shirts. And, and one of the things we talked about was uh, we, we did a deal where uh, people wanted to, to get uh, um, shot glasses from the bar to, to bang on the table. Oh, and the, and the yeah. bartender says, there is no way in hell I am bringing you people shot glasses because I know <laughs> what you're going to do. You're going to damage my shot glasses. <laughs> and I was like, them buy their own. And I was like, you know, how about if we found a place where we could do little board and shot glasses? Yeah. And everybody went nuts for the idea. Yeah. Working on that, it's a little expensive. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right now, money is a little tight, but there will come a point yeah. that we can do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, right now all my money is focused on oh, one yes. place. Yes, okay. that's got to be done, dude. Yeah. That has got to be done. Oh, well, we got uh, we got one more uh, one more song to record, mm -hmm. and, and you guys will get the call to, to cool. come in and help with that. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. I forgot. So, yeah, yeah. and cool. then I'll have an EP out. And, and did uh, you know we have a gig with Randy? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm seeing some of these local people they put on and they'll have, you know, featuring. I was like, I want to have some featuring. <laughs> I, want, I want my friends on there. Um, I've heard some good things about the the work that uh, um, that, that Lisliano did uh, singing some backup for uh, oh. um, for I Still Wear Your Ring. I haven't heard it. Yeah. Uh, Dallas is cruel. Uh, he he won't me, let you hear it yet. Oh, he sent me a still picture that showed the tracks. Oh. And I was like, that's just mean. That's mean. <laughs> you know you're not supposed to see it on the wedding night and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> you know, when, when you've... Uh, What's a, what's a, it's not totally bad when you I love uh, how you had the pause. <laughs> well, my, my first wording is like that's incredibly inappropriate, even for me. Um, yeah, when when you've been in there, uh, for the last several years, uh, the wedding that isn't that big a deal. <laughs> that's that's a nicer way of what I was going to say. No. <laughs> so I know it sounds a little awkward. It's bad luck, <laughs> balls deep. <laughs> Anyway, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, slow that down, put on headphones and turn up the volume. You'll yeah. hear what I said. Um, <laughs> otherwise, not my fault. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So that's what's going on in the area. We got a bunch of stuff going on. And of course, we're going to be doing our thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It'll be fun. I'm I'm curious. We we've talked. We haven't really talked a whole lot about it. A little bit, maybe, but not a lot. Uh, what you guys have been thinking since we've been playing. Um what, what, what's your takeaways have been from, from what we're doing? Fun. <clears throat> to me, it's just fun. I, I have, that's, that's the only thing I can think of whenever we, you know, when we're playing and when we go, that's all I think about is mm -hmm. that it's going to be fun. Well, I'm, I'm weirded out because we, uh, we switch off, uh, yeah. who, who takes lead yeah. regularly, depending on whose strengths are there. <laughs> and then we also go, what the hell are we gonna do? You know what? You play something, and then we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a GCD. Don't worry about it. Let's yeah, go. exactly. We do that. So, what do you think <clears throat> about it, Truman? Just I'm having a blast. It's like I told you, I'm having. A, I'm really enjoying this. Mm. And uh, however hard you guys want to do this, however much you want to do, mm -hmm. if you guys are having enough fun with it, you know me. I gotta try to remember not to freak other people out because I was like, this is fun. That's good. Get five gigs a week. Let's go. <laughs> char charge. Charge for those gigs. Make sure we're well, we minimum may, of 100 each. We may be taking a step up come next month. Yeah, We'll be playing again on September 9th at Picacho Peak. Yeah. And that's going to be a little bit different. Charge. Because... <laughs> Because we're going to have a bunch of other breweries down yeah. here. How's that? And, and when I say down, oh, this is September. September oh, 9th. It was October. Yeah. Um, yeah, check your dates. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was October. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, they're basically going to invite a bunch of the breweries from northern New Mexico to come down. And uh, uh, David at Picacho Peak made it very clear he wanted us there. Uh, he's looking at bringing in um, a, uh, a headliner band. Uh, a, a bigger name band if he can find one that, that's willing to come down because their budget is tight no matter what all the time but uh, if he can find something like that and basically have us uh, opening for them and uh, we're going to have some information to pass out to people and we may get some get get some traction in northern yeah, New Mexico wouldn't that be, be cool. kind of cool that'd be fun when we're sitting there saying yeah we're going to be on the road this weekend yeah <laughs> do it dude we'll and then we'll get a you. then we'll get a tour bus <laughs> And then I'll I'll develop a coke habit and charge, uh, yeah. 
uh, <laughs> B, uh, BJ will go out of his mind and start shooting uh, shooting at people uh, between uh, between shows. And, uh, <laughs> well, we got to do. We, we got to make. If we're going to be on VH1s behind the music, we oh, got to have, have a negative we gotta, thing. Yeah, yeah. we got to the stuff like, uh, and then everything went wrong. Yeah, horribly wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Randy never paid for drugs. <laughs> Not with money, <laughs> not one. Oh, okay. <laughs> His knees were all bruised, but <laughs> I do. <laughs> I did put in for September 9th. I'm like, because I got to get the day off of work. But and it's funny because I already requested it. I'm like, I thought, yeah. I kept thinking it was October. We got a, <laughs> we got a working stiff square in our midst, man. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it to the man, bro. Just yeah. take the day off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got some stuff coming up, and. uh I'm hoping that I put our stuff out to some other yeah. other places in town. I'm hoping to hear from, but that's cool. You know how it works in this town. Uh, Everything is slow. Yeah, drawn out, and they're very slow to get give you a chance. Yeah, so. Yana time, bro. Oh yeah. So we will see what happens, but yeah, we've definitely got a good end with uh, with Picacho Peak. Yeah. They have they've treated us really well. Yeah, that's come our home base. Uh, yeah, it really has. Yeah. Uh, it's such a nice group of people working there, and the owners. The owners are really nice. I, I've now met both of them, and they're they're just the greatest. Uh, such nice people, and uh, it's a nice place to hang. It's a nice place to drink. It's a nice place to eat. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah, it's a delicious. really good place to yeah. eat. <laughs> oh, that food's delicious. Yeah, I think yeah. of every bar in town, they've got everybody beat as yeah. far as food. I mean, forget the drinks, and the drinks you can't because too, the drinks. Yeah. I've never had a margarita that good. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's, that's one of yeah. Lounger's go tos is a margarita. Oh yeah, I've had a lot of margaritas. Well, they are um, they're training up new bartenders, so they're they're getting the drinks down as well. So we won't see uh, David being completely, uh, oh, man. <laughs> uh, you know, r- run ragged because yeah, he was working constantly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the the food is amazing, and I still have I still got to make it out to a Taco Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna I, try the next time I, that you play. Yeah, I played there last time, and I didn't get a chance to try them. So, yeah. well, it's hard to eat tacos if they're made right, and then yeah, play guitar. And play, yeah. Um, Stick yeah. Stick your strings up, bro. You'll be fine. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a treatment. <laughs> What is what is your guitar uh, t- uh, 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 smell like? Carne. Uh, don't don't <laughs> Do you worry see about how it. she shines the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'll be playing halfway through a set, and you'll start getting hungry if you're really hard on the strings because you're getting some heat going. It means you're doing good. <laughs> I'm not hearing a problem here, Andy. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, we need to do something else. Play me a okay. song. Um, what was it that, uh, I don't remember which, uh, was it, it was wild. Yeah. It was wild mountain time that we've got, uh, uh, Truman singing, don't we? Are you wild mountain time? Isn't that, isn't that the one? Um, will you go lassie? Is that, which one is the ones you sing? Oh, uh, I don't I didn't even remember. Yeah, yeah. It's too early, man. Give See, with this guy, it's, it's funny because we talked about how we got to get together and practice. And I'm like, well, actually, he and I are the only ones that really need to practice. He'll just go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And he'll feel and he'll f- figure it out. The well, I, I know one that you do do. In the, in the yonder garden grows. Oh, red is the rose. Yeah, red is the rose. rose. Yeah. Okay. I knew every word except the main one. <laughs> <laughs> You pull it up so I could read it. I could fake it, bro. <laughs> You're gonna lead it. I don't know if you need words, but uh, but we got them. I here. think you guys <clears throat> play guitar. That's why I was on the yeah. was singing and doing the. I think so. <clears throat> Which was a strange thing, but it's it worked. Cap- it's not capable. Right? No, it's not capable. That's a cool song. By the way, uh, you'll you'll get a kick out of this. Uh, I was playing. Um, couple fridays back at at the peak and uh aj uh uh, was out there listening and i changed up and put a put my capo on she says why are you using a capo and i says because i don't play very well (laughs) and she she kind of laughs i was like okay it's funny but it's really not a joke i don't play very well there was a song I did yeah. at, uh, when I was in the praise and worship team at one church, and every the everything started at the second at the second fret, mm-hmm. and we were doing like everything was starting at the second fret. So I put my capo on and cheated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was playing like. 
they were playing, you know, F sharp minor, B, I'm playing, you know, E minor, A, because I just said, well, screw this. I'm going to make it easier for me. And I was yeah. playing I the same, same chords, yeah. but I, you know, I was cheating miserably and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> 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 well, and then there's Truman who does not use a capo. No. So when, yeah, when he's going to go, oh, where are you at? Oh, okay. And yeah. I start playing. I'm hey, like, I don't like But that. it also doesn't help because I'll be like, where are you guys at? And you're like, it's E, C. Yeah. Yeah. And then but, and I sit there and, and I'm then like, you that's, so not, that's so not E, bro. <laughs> oh, that's, that's your, it's the finger position you have. It's open yeah. E, but you're yeah. keyboard it like G. I was like, exactly. just say G. Just say G. We're not that good. <laughs> I can which do is it. Why are we capable? <laughs> See, I, I can answer that question, but it'll take me about seven minutes uh, before I can answer a, it. Yeah, because we got to sit there, go A, B, C. Yeah, well, I'm like just just play. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was taught the snotty way by by Damian, which is okay. What which note is this? Which note is this? Which note is this? Now break it down and tell me what the key what the chord is. <sighs> And I'm just like, dude, I just want to, I just want to play. It's this. That's it. That's what it yeah. is. That is what it is. It is that. Oh, he had me playing a, he had me playing a, a chord in, in one of my songs that I was like, what, what is that? It says, don't worry about it. it. says, it's just your, your A minor and put your finger there. So do an, do an A, put your finger there. And I was like, okay. And I finally looked it up and found out, oh, that's an, that's an A minor sus. I didn't know. I had no idea. Weird chords, bro. Those are but he wouldn't, jazz chords. But he wouldn't tell me what it was. <laughs> he says, just play it. Okay. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I, I know my limits. <laughs> Damian tells me something, I do something. I just yeah. do what he says. By the way, real quick, um, September 2nd, I'm going to be playing at an Vintage. Yay! Nice. Opening for uh, for uh, the, the Ghetto Bus. <clears throat> Very cool. Nice. That'd so, be cool. Yeah. I think I'll... I'd love to go check that out, but I think yeah. I'm playing it. Icebox, I think. Uh, quit playing everywhere. I gotta figure out when, though. I can't get a hold of the person who's in charge of music there. Because <laughs> it's a new person. So. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Everybody changed up. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having to relearn everything. So. All right. How's the song go? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Right, right, go ahead and just play it. <clears throat> yeah. Because I gotta find the beat, right? Slow it down, just a bit. Just, it's too early, I'm sorry. Over the hill, my bonnie Irish lass. Come over the hills to your darling. You choose the rose, love, and I'll make the rhyme. And I'll be your true love forever Red is the rose and yonder garden grows Fair is the lily of the valley Clear is the water that flows from the bone My love is fairer than me Down by Killarney's green woods that we stray Moon and the stars, they were shining The moon shone its rays on her locks of golden hair She swore she'd be my love forever Red is the rose and yonder the garden grows Fair is the lily of the valley, clear is the water that flows from the bowl. My love is fairer than any. It's not for the parting that my sister paints. It's not for the grief of my mother. Is all for the loss of my body, Irish lass. But my heart is breaking forever. Red is the rose and yonder garden grows. 
There is a lily of the valley. Clear is the water that flows from the valley. My love is fairer than heaven. Red is the road. No. Yeah. <laughs> that song made me so happy. We were sitting here doing a, <clears throat> yeah. uh, doing a rehearsal and stuff, I love that song. and uh, Truman says, "Could I sing that?" And I was like, yeah. ah, "Yes, yes, I was, please." I was, I was sitting there and I was listening to it. I was like, "Oh, that's a beautiful song yeah, right yeah. there." Well, uh, I play it way slower than you guys too. <clears throat> yeah? Okay, yeah, because yeah, I forget, Randy, you picked that one up a little bit, and I was playing it the other day. I was all. Come over the hills, come on here, your spirits. Yeah. Over the hills, to your dawn. Well, yeah. It'd be, it'd be, <laughs> yeah. I can't it's read early. your stuff, bro. It's too early. Yeah, and you don't read very well. I don't. Uh, you, you normally just play. I do. But you've been doing really good with reading words because like that, there, yeah. there's so many new words that, that you've been exposed to that you've had really no choice. <laughs> yeah. Like, I I remembered the first two verses, and you're like, you learned a third verse? Like, there's a third verse? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean there's a third verse? I was like, dude, the third verse is the one that ties it. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Third verse makes it sad. <clears throat> yeah. Do the first you two. You remind us to slow it down because I like that idea. Yeah. yeah. You gotta remind us to slow it, down. It's a cool thing about this music yeah. is it, it just about any tempo works. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I de definitely holler when, when we get ready to do that. Um, but that wasn't bad for early morning, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that I can't do any adjusting yeah. while, while we're playing. It's funny. I used to, uh, when we first started all this, mm -hmm. I remember Randy's like, you got the words right there. And I used to be like, come over the hills. <laughs> My Bonnie Irish laughs whenever and, I had yeah. the reading. And, and you realize you're not changing chords while you're playing. Yeah, and I'm like, I can like, do wait. two things at once, bro. <laughs> That's the whole third one. <laughs> it's it's weird because you can do so much in, in one go, and, and and watching you, we're just blown away. And then there's something that you can't do, which is actually, it's really reassuring. <laughs> um, I know there are musicians out there that they can do everything and quite just... frankly you just hate those people because they make you feel bad all the way around but when you're sitting there and realizing oh well he does all this stuff better than i do but i can do this mm -hmm. and you realize it's not a case of better or worse it's a case of different oh, yeah. yeah that's everyone's different there's a yeah. i've always thought there's no such thing as better yeah. or worse there's a point where you don't know and yeah. then there's a point where you do know mm -hmm. And once you reach that point, it's not about better or worse. It's about what style you want, mm -hmm. what you're yeah. trying to do. Because BJ does a lot of amazing stuff mm -hmm. that I don't. Right. And, and I do stuff that BJ doesn't, and you do yeah. stuff that neither of us do. Yeah. And it's all different. And even the yeah. stuff that we do that's the same, we all do it completely differently. Yeah. Right. Like, for example, that's a perfect one. Mm -hmm. You play it faster, yeah. and I've heard you. I forgot that you play it like that. Yeah. So we started going, and you went, like, come over the hills. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I also have to watch myself because I tend to play faster anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. That's just naturally where you sit. It's mm -hmm. like, I don't I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All I know is it's just, uh, that one that we heard, the Whistling Donkeys yeah. version. Yeah. And I love that version. Mm -hmm. Those guys are amazing. Slow and it's oh, 
was beautiful. And 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 uh, as I watched them, I think if there's if there's any existing band that that we're similar to, it's them. Oh yeah, because. Uh, you know, look at the videos of them. For the most part, they're sitting around either in a pub or they're sitting around backstage on boxes. And it's just a bunch. It, it looks like a bunch of friends just sitting there jamming. Yeah. And uh, the lead singer will sit there. And you'll if you'll watch him on a bunch of his videos, uh, they're sitting there doing their thing. And while he's singing, he's got his phone out and he's reading the words, which makes me feel better. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's 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 just a lot of fun. Um I'm, I've been very surprised at how we've been received so far. Yeah. Dude, tell me about it. I was like, oh, this would be a fun thing to go do. Let's just turn go it into jam. something more. And yeah. then seeing everybody say, so like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You see that they're going, and they're sitting there you know, singing along with us. It's going like this. We're like, we've had, oh my gosh. We've had the entire yeah. bar singing yeah. and giving it hell with us. Yes. Every time we played so far. Yeah. So. And the neat thing is we've All had people people. that have come out because they've happened to see something online. They didn't yeah. know anything about it. Yeah. But I guess I think it's I think it's that they saw Irish music. Yeah. And, yeah. and it caught their eyes. This like, I gotta hear. Yeah. Because <laughs> we did have a group of women that came out. Yeah. They, they were sitting there talking about they were at home bitching that there's nothing to do in this town. We want to go do something. And one of their boyfriends came up and says, Go online <clears> and see what's going on. Yeah. And, and they went on, on Facebook and they were looking and they, they went through several different things like, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Then they saw us and says, oh, we're definitely going to that. That was. That and was and you know what they were thinking? We got to see what sort of a train wreck this is going to be. <laughs> I think that's what they were thinking. <laughs> yeah, that might have been it. But it turned out. Yeah. And now they're they're following us and yeah, they're uh, going I think they're. I think they're going to be at uh, open mic tomorrow. Some one of them messaged me and voice. asked me when when it when it uh, runs at. So hopefully. cool. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, and and I love doing the open mic. It is yeah. so much fun. Cool. And we got some new people that are coming out. Yeah. Um, uh, we also uh, one uh, one of our uh, our comedians, Sam. Yeah. Uh, sent me a video. Uh, he is getting braver and braver as he yeah. gets better and better. Um, he. Uh, uh, they, they were doing like a kind of a, 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 a come out and perform uh, kind of an audition, but kind of laid back sort of audition thing mm-hmm. for some comedy show that's apparently coming up. Mm-hmm. And he went out to Sassy Grass wow. uh, here this past week and uh, and uh, did his stuff. And he's getting better and better. And cool. I discovered something. Uh, heckle him a little bit. Oh. <laughs> if he's got a little bit of interaction, his energy level goes pew, through the roof. Really? And man... He's getting good. His timing is is getting better yeah. all the time. He's paying attention to what works. He's making changes. Is that that dude that had the dog? With the yeah, dog, yeah. Was, oh, he's funny, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, some of those jokes are hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and the thing is, he's not freaking out and saying, oh, it's got to be perfect now. He's going step by step. Um, yeah. He's up to about seven minutes. Um, you know, the first your first goal as a, as a comedian, get about ten minutes down. Then you tighten it up which means you're going to need to bring it back up to 10 minutes again as you tighten it. Um, then you, you go from there. Um, yeah, he's he's starting to piece stuff together and, and make stuff flow better. And it's it's just neat to watch uh, the evolution that's been going on because he's been, I think it was, I think it was January. It was, it was really early. I think it was January that he started coming out and he just hits it hard all the time. He had one, one week where uh, he just basically goofed around and he did a bunch of, uh, uh, Rodney Dangerfield material, <laughs> which was awesome. Uh, but yeah, normally he's working hard at it. Um, and, and he's the nicest guy in the world, too. That's cool. Yeah, he seemed like a really nice guy when I met him, man. He really is. Yeah. He screwed with uh, with one of the other comics that came out a couple weeks ago because um, the, the kid uh, uh, made some joke uh uh, about, you know, at least wh- whatever the joke was, is, at least they weren't gay. And he stands up and says, you know that I'm gay, right? And this this kid, I watched younger, you know, um, millennial age. I watched all the color drain from his yeah. face because oh, he's like, oh, God, did I just insult somebody? Yeah. And he played him for a little bit before he let him in. There. He doesn't care. <laughs> he, he was like, says, yeah, what are you trying to say? <laughs> and this kid's kind of stuttering around. He's like, no, nah, it's, it's all good. Hang out with comedians. Yeah. Oh, be quick yeah. on your feet. Yes, and and uh, and don't expect anybody to have a thin skin because they probably don't. Um, <laughs> they they like busting on each other, and uh, well, musicians do the same thing to a certain extent. 
Very much. You just got to be careful. There are go some back, musicians you don't do that to, but you know. Go back and watch some of the um, Dean Martin comedy roasts oh, God. from back in the 70s. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, not just the 70s because they're still going on. Well, um, the ones that are going on now are not like the ones in the 70s. <clears throat> um, a lot harder. Huh? Yeah. You have to understand there's been a change in what's yeah. acceptable. Really, they're not that far off. When you, when you take that into consideration and grade on the curve. Yeah, it's um, just, to me, it was like, because, it. but yeah, there was, I'll just never forget Don Rickles saying to the, to the slappy wife, I love seeing you here. I love seeing you here. That way I know you're not robbing my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got, <laughs> as, as good as those were, I got to say, some of the stuff that measures up, Betty White roasting William Shatner. That was <laughs> epic, and the light and, and the and, and the, the the blast that she put in on uh, George Takei in the middle oh. of that was, and, and apparently you know, he's laughing. He's like, is he really laughing or is he really secretly pissed? Oh, he was really laughing. Oh it, yeah, it blew his mind. George I mean, and it was Betty White. Got, How are you not gonna yeah. laugh? <laughs> she and, and she's good when she goes blue. It's it, oh. nobody's. Everybody's used to you know the Golden Girls, and yes. man, she's no, she's always been cutting edge dirty <laughs> so uh <laughs> but uh yeah uh he, he's always fun he's he's almost always out there almost yeah, every thursday that's great um i i heard from john demar that might be coming back he's been gone for a while he's another great guy to listen to um uh plays uh plays country and plays some 70s uh, mm. rock and roll he plays some great uh uh neil young oh wow he plays one neil young song that uh he can't sing but he can play okay. and he plays it like a boss. Mm. Um, it's the, the one about moon. Was I, that with I forget the name. Oh yeah. But yeah, he's going to be out there. Um, we had a, we had an older guy that came out the first time this past week and hooked up this pedal board mm -hmm. into the system and just instrumental stuff. And he just sat there playing and working this pedal board yeah. and doing some stuff. It's like, Whoa, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm blown away by somebody who can work a good pedal. Yeah. Uh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I have patches have that are for different songs. That's as far as I go. <laughs> I have three pedals. That is all I have. Yeah, I have my volume, distortion, looper, and drum machine. Oh, yeah. uh, you've got no wah pedal. No wah, wah pedal is fun. Wah is a blast, and I love it. And it irritates other people because oh, yeah. if, you, if you're yawning, like, you tend to use it too much. It's the guitar player's cowbell. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I remember hearing a guy go, enough. I remember the, that was a Cheech and Chong skit. And now, Tommy's going to play with his wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, damn it, Tommy, that's enough. <laughs> I think it was, uh, I think it was, uh, I want to say that Eddie Van Halen did a thing where he was writing some stuff and he was going heavy on the wah pedal. And then he heard somebody with that. who was constantly on his wah pedal and he we went back and changed it <laughs> he went, oh, screw that. he'll use it he used it every once in a while but very rarely <laughs> yeah yeah let's do that who sings this one again he you do, do. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> real time folks it's not just with gigs let's go okay you, you i forgot how the tempo goes go In a way, for you. Saturday, crystal day. Without you, 
so long i don't think i ever played it the same way twice no <laughs> <laughs> just so, kind of feel that one out all right. well it took me a second because uh yeah i always forget where the verse comes in because it's like a little after yeah and the and, and the, i was like dang it got it the, near the end there that's what matters yeah, <laughs> and their and their tempo stuff is always a little a little yeah. weird they gotta do the edge so but I don't have all the, the yeah. effects going on. It's wild, man, when I found out the edge doesn't actually do any crazy stuff. No. It's just all the effects that he has yeah. in between the... Yeah, he has an effect rack that like looks like a 1980 supercomputer. I mean, the thing is huge. He has 10 effect racks, yeah. and they're all in one. Well, I think we need to do one of our acapellas. Oh, really? Because you haven't sang a lead song yet. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, your like turn. You guys doing <laughs> what did you have in mind? Which one do you prefer? Um, and that's a lot of fun singing those two because that's complete. That's that's some stuff like I never seen. Yeah. I never get to sing pretty stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So that's cool. I enjoy that. Um, do I pull it off at least? I, mean, I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, let's do. You, you guys wanna... keep asking me to sing it, so I guess I'm not doing too bad. Huh? We can do. Um, how about Barrett's Privateers? That's a good one. Cool, cool. Oh yeah. yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, the year was 1778. I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. now. A letter of mark came from the king to the scummiest vessel I'd ever seen. God damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Oh, well, Sid Barrett cried the town. I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. For forty brave men, all fishermen who would make for him the antelope's crew, got down them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. The antelope sloop was a sickening sight. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. She'd a list to the port and her sails in rags, and the cook in the coppers with the suckers and jags. God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. 
On the king's birthday we put to sea. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. We were 91 days to Montego Bay, pumping like madmen all the way, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man, I'm a Halifax fear, the last of Barrett's privateers. On the 96th day we sailed again, now I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. When a bloody brave Yankee hove in sight with a crack four pounders, we made the fight, god damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold, we fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. The Yankee lay low down with gold, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. She was broad and fat and loose in stays, but to catch her took the antelope two whole days, god damn them all. I was so we cruised the seas for American gold, we fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Then at length we stood two cables away, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Our crack four pounders made an awful din with a one fat ball the Yanks stole was in. God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. The antelope shook and pitched on her side. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Well, Barrett was smashed like a bowl of eggs, and the main truck carried off both me legs. God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. So here I lay, me 23rd year. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. It's been six years since he sailed away, and I just made Halifax yesterday, god damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold, we fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. <laughs> that one's fun. That's that awesome, cool. man. <laughs> By the way, we do sound better uh, mixed properly on yeah, the stage. That's but, okay. uh, you know. uh, yeah, I realized, oh, I, I, I kept, I, I moved my mic away from myself. I was like, oh, crap, I'm coming across really loud well on this mix. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't have uh, headphones. Yeah, I forget I can't wear headphones. He, yeah, can't. Yeah. He so I'm bother. like, what do you mean? It all bother. sounds good. It's like it was <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> it was end up on the floor, so he's like, he didn't even give you. Yeah, it doesn't. It just doesn't work that well for for Truman to to be. To, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. All right. And the sad thing is, I found some headphones for you too. I feel like I'm on a leash. They're, they're the coolest things because they're it's Princess Leia buns. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I know you would wear them. I think you know I would wear them. <laughs> I don't know how long they'd stay on, but I no. would definitely wear them. But, uh, yeah, so that's a little bit of what we do. Yeah, and um, it's fun. We have a lot of fun. We also mix in, uh, you know, Truman does some of his own stuff, Randy yeah. some of his stuff. Although we're doing less and less. Because yeah, we're, we've we got so we many. keep adding more, more Irish <laughs> stuff. Know. Keep adding stuff, um, and we're like, ah, yeah, we got to do this. <laughs> it's like we're actually a real Irish band. I know. Yeah. And, and we actually, if you come out to the show, you'll hear a song you can't possibly here nope. anywhere else nope. because it's an original for us yes and i've been working on a couple others we may cool. have in, in a month or so so uh um including another uh, sea shanty believe it or not oh yeah that's cool <laughs> isn't it gonna be cool if we have an original sea, original sea shanty? Sea shanty that'd be cool so uh yeah but uh yeah we we uh I, I wrote uh, an original song and I played it for you guys. And I was mm -hmm. ready for you to say, "No, nah. <laughs> no, no, we had to do it." And it uh, yeah, it's 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 been really well received. I was really surprised, but I was like, "It's happy, it's upbeat, and it's fun." That's not me, <laughs> but I guess you know you get into something else and you you can you know uh, explore other facets mm -hmm. of who you are. Yeah, yes, sir. You or just know. pretend to be somebody else. Either know. way. Or, you know, like you were saying earlier, Sybil. Um, 
there's all that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the big thing, if you guys want to come out and hear us play, we're going to be playing this Saturday at uh, Picacho Peak Brewing, 6 to 9. Um, feel free to buy us shots. <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. If you want. That was a that was a weird that thing. Was, that um, was fun though. I think that was really cool. Basically, the only thing that we really expect from you guys is to come out and have a good and time. Have fun. With us. Sing along with us if you can. You yeah. Know, there's a couple of songs that we want you to sing along with us. You'll and then know if you the do, song by the yeah. second verse. That's <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah. And then like, uh, like when we do um Ratlin Bog, it's like sing the chorus with us. And if you don't know it, don't worry. You won't be able to forget it after that song's over. <laughs> oh yeah. And and bottom line, just to come out and watch uh, BJ sing the Rattlin Bob <laughs> from memory. Yeah. That scrambles my brain like by the yeah. third verse, bro. That took well, a while. And, and here's the funny thing. Uh, this is a guy that he, you're a lot like me. You don't memorize songs. I can't memorize songs. Uh, it's not person. an easy thing to do. Uh, as you get older, it gets harder. Mm -hmm. And and I, I mean, I've got some of my stuff semi-memorized, but I still rely on the words because I don't want to like I'll have my brain uh, screw up in the middle. And it's you like, don't oh, want to pull a Truman? I don't memorize <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing is, you can cover. I really can't. I'm not that good of a player. Um, so I can just get by. Um, but... Uh, BJ just decided, you know, reading this is not going to work. So he sat down and memorized yeah. this. And it's, it's long. I tried and reading it. I was practicing. I tried reading it. And I was like, it's not working. It's too quick. It was man. just something it's about it. I quick. couldn't do it. So yeah. I just sat there and went, okay. And I have to visualize. I actually, the cheating way of the way I've cheated, it's visualizing each of the pieces to it. <laughs> and it was like two months. That yeah. you memorize it in. Yeah. It was fast. Yeah. For, For me, like that was two fast. weeks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we had one practice one day, yeah. and you're like, that's a cool song. Yeah. <laughs> Next practice, you come back, you're like, dun, 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 dun. I was like, how do you even do this? <laughs> to stay on time, true, man. That's all we need to do. That's a good one. It's a blast. It's, oh, a, it's so much fun. Can I make a request before we call it a day? What's that? Uh huh. My uh, favorite one, Scott Smith. <laughs> Oh, you're just, yeah. You're just looking because it's not really a song. It's a dirty joke. It's kind of spread <laughs> That's out. A great song. It's hilarious. I have bro. heard three different versions of this it's song. It's hilarious. Yeah. I've never even heard any other version than what we do. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard like three different versions of the song, and they're all radio friendly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even though this isn't bad. Yeah, it's not it's bad. Just, it's just, the premise of it is Mine's funny. still radio friendly. There there yeah. are some, some other verses. Yeah. I don't use them. Um, I think they're kind of dumb sounding. It's not a case that they're too dirty. It's just I think they're kind of dumb sounding. So I like where we end it, and I like the way we end it. It's yeah. basically, yeah, it's it's a it's a semi dirty joke. Yeah, with where a punchline. Where we end it, it's classy, bro. Yeah. It, like if it if it goes any further than where we end it, it feel like you're overtelling the joke. I love this one. Okay, yeah, I gotta remember how to. It, it took me a minute to. You need to start the tempo so that you know what you're singing. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Scotsman clad in the back. Try it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little early. Yeah. No Welcome, Scotsman clad in. I got tempo. I can't, say, I can't say Scotsman. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Obviously, my Irish is coming through. A Klotzman's clad. Yeah, Klotzman. <laughs> Well, Scotsman clad in kilt left the bar one evening fair. One, that's not right. Well, the Scotsman clad in kilt and left the bar an evening fair. There we go. <laughs> one could tell by how he walked, he drunk more than his share. He stumbled on until he could no longer keep his feet. Then he staggered off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Ring, ding, diddle, 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 ring, diddle, 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 diddle,
And there behold for them to view beneath his scottish skirt Was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth Ring ding diddle little I yo, ring di diddly I o was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth They marveled for a moment, then one said we'd best be gone they left a present for a friend before we move along. As a gift they left a blue silk ribbon tied into a bow. Around the bonny star of the skulls kilt lift and show. <laughs> ring ding diddle diddle i di o ring di diddle i o oh, Around the bonny star of the skulls kilt lift and show. <laughs> the Scotsman poked a nature's call and stumbled to a tree. Beneath a bush he lifts his gilt and gawks at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says, what's before his eyes? My friend, I don't know where you've been, but I see you've won first prize. <laughs> ring, ding, diddle, little live, yo! Ring, ding, diddle, 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 My friend, I don't know where you've been, but I see you've won first prize! <laughs> <laughs> we got, we we got <laughs> two verses in, and, and, be, and, and Tim is already giggling. <laughs> He has heard this. We have rehearsed this song countless times. It doesn't matter. Still <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. That's hilarious, bro. Years ago, I got a. I found a picture. I don't know where it got to me, but it was of a, a bunch of Scotsmen, uh, Scots Guard, putting up the flag, and the wind had blown and blown the guy's kilt up, and you can see his bare bottom, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, okay, and, and if the the title was a question answered. So I sent it this one this one friend of mine, and she emailed me back saying that she cannot stop laughing, <laughs> and she decided to do a mass email to all the people in the office. Oh, <laughs> and one one by one, you hear people laughing, just <laughs> laughing, just going on it's ever before the entire office was laughing. It oh was yeah, it's like <laughs> that's cool, bro. That's so. It cool. was funny. I was like, yeah, that's, I couldn't send it to people in my office, but. Right. She sent it to hers, and she just loved the fact that she bing bing. And just, ah, just everybody started laughing all throughout for the whole. Office. I love it. God, <laughs> that's funny. Bro. Oh, oh man. Uh, no, we just had to add that in, and, and from the first time that I did this in front of, of Truman, yeah. he giggles. Yes. Every. It's not like he laughs. It's, it's not just laughing. It's giggling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna he's giggling, I'm messing up. <laughs> I sing we sing we, we sing two lines every the chorus is two lines and the first line is the same on each one and we still mess it up because we're laughing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm just happy that you guys got the first bit down because yeah. um that took a while. Yeah, yeah it's it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, that took me a it's second. A, like, it's a specific style of, of exactly. singing, but uh, yeah. it's like it takes a little while. It's like almost yodeling. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It's the same concept, just different stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, um, and, and, it, and it takes some work. And you guys, yeah. just, you guys have brought it on this oh, stuff. Yeah. I didn't know how this is going to work out because I didn't know if you guys were even going to going to connect with any of the music, much less yeah. um, no, be interested in putting in the work to get it right. But At damn, first I thought guys. it's going to be hard to learn, but then I realized that it had a lot to do with the stuff that I used to do back in high school, which brought oh, back yeah. so many memories, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun. So yeah, it's been cool. Oh yeah, and Truman's just out of his mind, so you know. Yeah, it's super <laughs> <laughs> but he does everything. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing Yeah, this, uh, this Saturday. This again. Saturday, cool. Acacho Peak Brewery from 6 to 9, come on out. And maybe this time I'll remember to turn on the lights that I put up in the back. I know he puts them up. Never turned them on. I never turned them on this last time. Yeah. yeah. The the thing is, I, I, I tear stuff we down. Them <laughs> well, the thing is, like we're tearing down, and I get to those lights, I go crap. <laughs> <laughs> never turned them on. I and forgot they were I'll, there. This time I'll remember to bring the cajon because yeah. I didn't bring mine last time, so we had to keep switching. We were sw swapping off. Yeah, that, that was. Yeah. I'll I'll make sure I remember this time. Uh, and if yeah. I ever hit the if I ever hit the lotto, I got another cajon I want to buy anyway. So <laughs> I'll have two at that point. So we'll have an extra. There we go. But at any rate, All right. uh, dude, Truman, you came out. Yeah, yeah I'm glad. I, I'm sorry Welcome. I haven't been able to make. You guys have been asking me. Yeah. For a couple of weeks now, and it's just, well, you've oh, you've, you've been you've been, you've been doing that jet setting life now. Yeah. So you know. Apparently, man, Jesus, I haven't even had a chance to take a breath, and this is like the first week. In a couple of months, where I've been able to just be like, okay, yeah. let's get some stuff done, and we're getting the house straightened out yeah. for right now. And it's yeah, yeah. 
And uh, once again, you're going to be playing uh, TRC Brewing. Yes, Sunday for two to five. It's a great place to be. They've got great beers. And yeah. on Sundays, they're doing mimosas. Yeah. So that's cool. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that one. Yeah it's, a, yeah. it's the one day of the week that they do mimosas. They started that a long time back. And, yeah. and it was just a trial. And after the first time, they're like, yeah, we're doing this regularly. And their covered little patio is awesome. Yeah. It's, it's so great. nice. It's great. Now that the, the weather's starting to get a little bit better. Um, it's like blistering. It's a little huh? bit, but yeah. yeah. I was kind of sad. I was trying to get out uh, this last Sunday because uh, Ali Shea was playing out yeah. there. Yeah. And she's just awesome as hell. Yeah. Uh, her, her and her little Fender uh, ukulele. Yeah. Like, whoa. <laughs> I was <laughs> laughing the other day because uh, I was cruising around and I got in the car and I was like, today's nice. It's not so hot. He said it was 94 degrees. I go, it's only in New Mexico is 94 I mean, degrees. Oh, yeah. oh, that's that's nice. nice, man. I'm you know, I, I was born and raised out here. Yeah, uh, this is good temperature for me. Yeah. I start when when uh when when it, it dips into the 60s, uh that's when I start wearing a jacket. I know because <laughs> no, yeah. I was out there in uh Iowa and everyone's like, it's so hot, it's so hot <laughs> and unpleasant. I'm like, it's like yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, a couple more degrees. I might need a sweater. Who knows? <laughs> See, I, I had some friends up in Colorado Springs that I, I went up there for a <clears throat> yes, for a, uh, a Starfleet International convention. Oh my gosh, <laughs> and uh, I was freaking out yes, because God. not only was it cold, there were snowflakes floating in the air, not falling, just floating. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, that's just normal. And they're making fun of me, oh and they're making gosh. fun of me because I'm bundled up and shivering outside. Yeah. Well, the next uh, event that we had like that was held down here <laughs> in August. Oh. Ooh. By the way, a bunch of my friends, just to be very clear, are not like you know Starfleet, Star Trek fans. Right. They're Klingons. Oh. <laughs> oh no, they do the whole makeup. Oh, a lot of their armor, a lot of their oh. their their outfits they wear, fur. Oh, oh yeah! Big mistake. Oh yeah! They never made fun of me again <laughs> after that. I thought several were going to have heat stroke inside the air conditioning. <laughs> Actually, uh, they, that's hilarious. Yeah, they they wore those full outfits once and then took them off and says, "No, we're not doing that here." <laughs> that's great. But uh, yes, oh. I'm a nerd. What can I say? Yeah. Same. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just got a story that we'll just add in real quick before we leave. Uh -huh. uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, assuming I can get to it over all this crap. Free government tablets, bro? <laughs> 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 no, we're not going to be able to get to it easy because oh, okay. this stupid... I hate this stupid thing. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Starbucks is announcing three, three new drinks uh, for their fall menu. So what do we got? Ooh. Chocolate cream cold brew with caramel syrup and, and a caramel lined cup. What's the name? Wow. Is <sighs> the name? I think that's the name. Chocolate cream cold brew with caramel syrup and a caramel lined cup. I love that band. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Especially the early stuff. Yeah. Uh, iced chai tea latte with matcha cream cold foam. By the way, I didn't know what matcha was until I started doing a bunch of delivery stuff. Yeah. I like matcha. Oh, Matcha's okay. good. Really? It's, yeah, it's like it's like just green tea stuff. It's really good. It's not my cup of tea, but it's cool. And then blended ice black tea lemonade. I'm sorry. I keep going back to chocolate cream cold brew with caramel syrup and a caramel lime. Are cup. they playing this weekend, bro? They're playing. They're playing. They may be playing this later today. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Never mind. Not today. Uh, they will, they're supposed to be launching their fall menu on the 24th of this month. Oh, okay. So we oh we yeah, got a little bit. 20 September. Wait, 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 wait. September 22nd is oh. the end of summer, isn't it? Depends. I thought it was like yeah. They said September, so because I saw something about that. Yeah, kind of depends on, like on September 22nd yeah. is the end of summer. So keep your pumpkin spice. Tell oh, you while saw I sip that my thing? Margarita. Yeah, keep your keep your pumpkin uh, pumpkin spice ass sitting. You will. <laughs> well, I finished my margarita. <laughs> uh, I will tell you, screw that, screw that. It is it is fall. Uh, if you go to Cracker Barrel, oh no, that doesn't count. They got their Halloween stuff out. Oh, you know what else? Hmm. If you go over to Telshore or wherever you happen to live, right? Um, yeah. Spirit Halloween is open. Oh yeah, they're yeah. up and going. Huh? They are up and wow. going. Already. So, sounds about right. Let me just say, 
It is the most wonderful time of the year. Halloween. <laughs> and there's some movies coming out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go. We, me and Alonzo are going to go see that, uh, that Dracula one. Oh, yeah. It takes place on the boat that brought him to America. Yeah. It looks really. It's one Final only one chapter from, uh, from the novel. It, it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw an advertisement for a new one coming out called Cobwebs that looks cool. Um, I am thinking about maybe making a trip in, uh, in October up to Albuquerque because they're going to have Horror Con up there. Horror Con. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Tony Todd is going to be there. Nice. I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, yes, Candyman. But he played... Countless Klingons and uh, uh, an older Jake Sisko in the Star Trek stuff. So big fan of his. Big fan. The oh, guy is awesome. But yeah, Candyman, definitely. My little brother used to sit there <laughs> and we'd just be sitting there hanging out and he'd go, Candyman. I go, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> and then he'd just look at me and go, I was like, oh, we're gonna fucking throw down, bro. You need to calm down. <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> You're messing with forces you don't understand. <laughs> By the way, just so you know, while there's no mirror here, we are on camera. Oh, and yeah. you have said it twice. Uh, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> what is it? Five? Five. I'm good. Well, let's see how long he can handle it. Yeah. Can candy mask. No, no, no. We're gonna throw down. <laughs> BJ, you want to throw one in? Candyman can. This is how we all die. I don't think that counts. I like it. Okay. I think if we say it like that, yeah, yeah. This is how we all die. You had a good Sammy, Sammy Davis Jr. appearing. You know what? I got to think of a... Look, I used to love that song when I was a kid. If I let let, me, let me just say, boo, man. <laughs> it's not the same sort of movie. There was oh, God. Wouldn't you love to see... Yeah, Candyman with, with uh, Sammy Davis Jr. I, I, I remember, I'm going I'm to cover you with... Beach, man. There was, a, there was a show, a variety show, yeah. where uh, Sammy Davis Jr. was on stage, and out comes Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> that was funny as heck, man. God, I love, I love his music. Oh, he was great. He was great. I actually don't laugh. I have some of his music. I believe it. Nice. That's cool. In the fifties, he released an oh, album, yeah. man. Oh yeah, <laughs> not bad. It's, no, it's not like Santa Claus. Yeah, I played with that man. I played with that. Dude. Played with those dudes. Man. He didn't know any songs, man. No, man, they're not musicians. You're telling me, man. Man, is this gonna be like a? This may be a Cheech and Chong day. Yeah, it might be. Well, I was just thinking because uh, I, I work with a bunch of young college kids, and one they all and most of them speak Spanish, and I go, Mexican Americans go to night school and take Spanish and get a B. <laughs> one girl was laughing about that the whole day. Love the ninos and the nanas. Nana, nina, no, no, no. And my girl's named Debbie, too. <laughs> God. Okay. Well, well we're, we're, actually, note, we're actually right. over time. So, yeah. shit. Um, you guys have a great week. If you get a chance, come out uh, on Saturday and hear us. Uh, yeah. I guarantee you. It'll be fun. I, I, I think we're pretty good. Yeah. We're definitely really fun. We're a lot of fun. That's the main so, thing. We're yeah. just a lot of fun. So, come on out. I'm just glad Love you just let me it. in the play. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like you're like the Garth. I like to play. I like to play. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Take care. We'll see y'all later. Tune in.